Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome back to my channel Today's presentation about introduction to medical terminology course I'm Dr. Dalia Saleh, professor and head of anatomy department at Mansoura University, Egypt In this presentation, I'm gonna cover the following points First, we will know what are meant by medical terms Why we need to learn them the components of the medical term and examples of each. By definition, medical terms are words that name a structure or a process that takes place inside the body. Big words can be broken down into smaller parts and by knowing the meaning of the individual parts we can figure out the meaning of the entire word. Learning medical terminology will help you be able to speak the language of health. It will also help you to communicate better with other healthcare team members. It will help you to understand medical documentation written by healthcare providers and help you to correctly carry out orders and instructions. Think of the medical terminology as a puzzle. It's formed of pieces that fit together. And the key to understand the medical term is to know the meaning of the individual parts that form it. Four basic types of four parts are used to create a complex medical term. We have what's called word roots, as in cardia or the heart. So. The word root indicates the main body part that is involved. The prefixes, as in tachycardia, tachy means increase in the heart rate. So the medical term tachycardia describes a condition of fast heart rate. The suffixes following the word root, as in carditis, the suffix etis means inflammation, so you describe an inflammation in the heart. The combining form, it's the use of the vowel, usually O, to combine word roots together or word root to a suffix, as in cardiomyopathy. Cardio means heart, myo means muscle, and pathy is the suffix means a disease. So you end up with the cardiomyopathy or heart muscle disease. If we start with the word roots, word roots usually, but not always, indicate the part of the body involved. For example, cardi means heart, gaster means stomach, nur means nerve, and hepat means liver. Prefixes are usually, but not always, indicate location, time, number, or status. For example, pericardium. Peri means around and the cardium means heart. So here in this example, it indicates the location around the heart. Epi, gastric. Epi means above and gastric means the stomach. So again, it describes a location. Polyneuritis. Poly means multiple. And neuritis means inflammation in the nerves. So polyneuritis indicates that there is inflammation in many nerves. Here in this example, we have prenatal. Pre means before, nat means birth, al pertaining to. So if you combine them together, prenatal means that the time and events took place before birth. So this prefix pre indicates time. Suffixes are usually but not always indicate the procedure the condition, the disorder, or the disease involving this organ we are talking about. Examples, cardiomegaly. The suffix megaly means enlargement or getting bigger. So cardiomegaly means enlargement of the heart. Gastritis. Etis means inflammation. So gastritis means inflammation in the stomach. Neuralgia. Algia means pain, so neuralgia means pain originating from 
the nerves. In this example, again, tonsillitis. Tonsil is the root, which means this lymphoid organ that present in our throat. And itis is a suffix means inflammation. So by combining the root tonsil with the suffix itis, we end up with tonsillitis, which it means inflammation of the tonsil. The combining forms are created by adding a vowel, usually the letter O, to the end of a word root. It is used when connecting word roots together or when you connect a word root with a suffix that begins with a consonant. For example, cardio. Cardi is the root and O is the connecting vowel. Gastro, neuro, and hepato. We have this medical term which is called otorhinolaryngology, which means study of ears, nose, and throat. If we split it into its component, ot means ear, rin means nose, larynx means throat. These are roots. You combine them with the vowel o, and then you combine the larynx with the suffix ology, which means the signs of study of. So you end up with the O2 rhino laryngology. There are some exceptions. If the word root ends in a letter X and you need to add a suffix right after this X, so the X is changed into either G or C. So for example, the pharynx, which is the throat, if you want to add the suffix al or pertaining to, so you change the X into G. So the pharynx is changed into pharyngeal. Another example, the thorax, which is a word root indicates or means the chest. If you want to describe an incision or opening of the thorax and you want to add the suffix otomy, which means incision or opening. So the X is changed into C. So we have thoracotomy, which means incision in the chest. Many medical terms come from Greek or Latin words. So, rules for forming plurals come from these languages, but other words use English rules. Each medical term must be considered individually when changing from singular to plural. So, you need to memorize them individually. So, words that end in a letter A changes into AE as in vertebra becomes vertebrae. Words end in AX changes into CES as in thorax changes into thoraces. Words that end in EX or IX changes into ICES. So appendix becomes appendices. Words that end in US you change the US into I. So, nucleus becomes nuclei. Words end in um, you change the um to a. So, ovum becomes ova. Words that end in on changes into a. So, ganglion changes into ganglia. Words that end in nx changes into nges. So, phalanx becomes phalanges. Words that end in y. The Y is changed into IES, as in biopsy becomes biopsies. Words that end in MA changes into MATA. So sarcoma becomes sarcomata. So again, there are many examples of this, and you need to memorize each word individually in its both singular and plural forms. Uh, this is the end of my presentation. Thanks for listening. If you like it, please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. And also hit the notification bell to know if I upload another video. Thank you.